All right. Oh, no, that was enough again. Constable Beats report. The case is nothing to do with Mrs. and Mrs. Guy that, believe me, a long and Bobby is good for his work. I, I honestly look at you. Are you good for anything? So you're good for your wife. I know that, but. Hmm. See, sir, the windows on the top floor. The guy that has a top hinge casement. Obviously, if anything had been thrown out the window, we would have seen it. I did leave the scene to go fetch it, uh, to go and fetch help, but my trusty Rolly was there to make sure nothing, nothing was disturbed. Didn't you say he was lying there on the ground snoring? Yeah, it was face It was yeah. face -flip. I didn't take my eye off the crime scene for one moment. Literally, I was with my eye as close to the ground as possible. <laughs> huh. One moment, sir. Nothing sense to it. Really? It would be funny that's, if he was just using, her, using the body as a pillow. That's it? Well, this is quite startling. Top hinge casement windows. That detail was not in the police report, constable. Uh, yes, um, sorry about that. I, I must be a little jealous. <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little. You cannot excuse the sins with justness every time, Constable. It's time to go to hell. No, sir. Um, sorry, bud. What exactly is the top hinged casement window? And you. Me? You cannot excuse your ignorance and ignorance with such trite remarks, my learned friend. Of course. Sorry. Aha! I found it, Mr. Naruto. Costume went back to the windows of Mr. and Mrs. Garadib's room. The Mr. and Mrs. Garadib's room. Alright, I'll try. Have a flashback. Aha! Uh -huh. So the window opens in order to allow air to circulate inside the house. Oh. Oh, so it opens very... But as so it's a top very... hinged casement window, it swings open Minimally. along the upper edge, you see. I'm glad you rectified your ignorance. A casement window is most prominent feature. Prominent? Yes, that's what I meant. Okay. It's just make, insane. just making sure um, here. <laughs> a metal bar which prevents the window from being open beyond the second map. Okay. It, it, it prevents it opening? This is all news to me. Shut up, sir. And I have over to use my book for knife, which I've been shown through the open window. It would have, it would have died against the pain and fallen straight down into the pavement below. Hmm. What if she threw it like a cool guy? No. You see the problem now? Good. Your education in Windows is complete. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So can you can you explain to me then how the book got out there then? There was never any possibility of either the book or the knife traveling 15 yards off the road. But yet still, the book was found at the scene of the crime, so how did it get there? That is, unless the window pane had been shattered something with this kind already. The, that, that, that can't be! Did you see that, Rolly? That young Japanese man just collapsed in agony! Oh yes, yeah, sir, darling. I'm sorry. I saw him. He crumbled before me. Is this a weird kink? Oh, Rolly, you're so strong. Oh, is this happening? Necromantic spell. Uh, I haven't even started the cross-examination yet, and already my argument's been destroyed. It's fine, we still got an angle here. Counsel? If you could drag yourself up right again, the court awaits the cross examination. No, oh, I still get to do it, thank you. <laughs> you? Ugh, my lord. Raise undead. Oh, good. Another desperate situation. Ha! Ah, Alright. Tell me quickly what's the story? Who saw what and why and where? 
Uh, press everything, I guess. Bobby. Yeah, you hold that right here. How can you? Uh, oh, how, how? No, 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 no. How can you say that for certain? How oh, can I say that for certain, you ask? A very good question, sir. And the answer is this. But wait, you're saying you're right because you're a policeman. What kind of an argument is that? You're saying you're a unfallible because argument. you're a policeman. Really? How arrogant do you have to be? And as the noble founding principles of the force, really not in this, a reminder to all us policemen of a solemn duty. We must not tell lies. He showed us that before, didn't he? We must not shoot a gun. In a <laughs> not in the courtroom, no. Did he? I can't say I remember. No, I remember. He showed that before. The patrol is seen so long enough. Not for the peace of a common man. That's what the job is all about. And is that why I can stand here today beside my long suffering wife and tell you what Bobby's good for you? What? While rubbing my tired eyes, I'm mainly. And there we have it, tired eyes. So if you've been that tired, how reliable can you be? Oh, Roly, you're so manly. Of course I am, my daughter, Patricia. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Of course I am, my yeah, daughter, thank you. Patricia. <laughs> I was just going to say, of course I am, my darling Patricia. <laughs> no, that, that is demon. That is a demon. <laughs> Of course I am, my darling Patricia. Uh... Oh, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, Pat. Oh, Roly. That was wrong. Oh, me. Oh, oh my. no. What a role reversal that was. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, none of this is what I meant. I meant, how can you say for certain that this case has nothing to do with Mr. and Mrs. Gary Depp? I see you, sir. You should have said it is, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, well, so could you answer the question? That was a waste of time, then. Absolutely, sir. I listen to the fullness of my abilities, sir. Thank you. There is a surprising reason why Mrs. and Mrs. Garrett and domestic dispute can be related to this case. Did you sure get into that sound? Just one thing. No, you do not go to sleep now. Yes. I very much like you and your countrymen to understand the great British institution of Scotland Yard. Okay. So I hope you take back some tales of us done on Bobby's or how we uphold our guiding principles. I'll tell the tale. I wasn't planning on going back just yet. I've only just arrived here. Go to the end, sir. I'd be happy to danger my warrant card for your perusal. Oh, we're gonna have his card in the court record? Oh, that's nice. But I'm just warning you. You won't be able to get through it without shedding a few tears. <laughs> it's just like the, the, like the antithesis to the... It would be funny if there, is, like, there are like scribbles from his wife. Thank you. I'll try. It's just like little hearts and stuff. <laughs> Constable Beat's warrant card has been entered into the court record. A small folding wallet that identifies London Bobbies and contains the rules of conduct to which they must adhere. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, let's have a look at it. No, you you shut up. You, I said you shut up. Shut up! Okay. Alright. Principles of policing. Item number one. A policeman will strive to preserve the peace within his allotted beat. Okay, fair enough. Patrolling officers expected to walk 20 miles around his beat every day for the furtherance of community relations. Fair enough. Metropolitan police regulations. Any crimes fall under the jurisdiction of the beat in which they are discovered. When a crime is discovered on his beat, a policeman must assist with initial investigations and help detectives. Uh, was he... He was another scene of the crime. Well, he was. It's not his beat, though. That's the thing, right? I think they said as much, if I remember right, he said it's not his beat, right? And even though it was not his beat, he still was like heroic and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. We have well, that. Let's press further, I guess. What about these windows? By which you mean they don't open fully, is that correct? Yeah, sir. They just there to allow a bit of air to the house, you see. So they're restricted as to how much they open. 
Mm. And therefore, anything to out the window from inside the room would simply strike the pane and fall to the street directly below. For clarity, allow me to mark the map. Well, thank you. Thank you. Here it is. The location where objects would have fallen. Right, and the crime scene is across from there. Ish. So you you think a lot of stuff would be on the floor. Hmm. Yeah, yes. you would think that. Directly opposite the scene of the crime, on the other side of the rather wide grove. <laughs> would it have been so hard for somebody to mention this top hinged casement thing before? Well, I have another question Wait, for you. Wait, so also. does that mean that there is a chip of the knife either on the floor or on the window or something? That might be. If we assume it was thrown. Oh, that is so. How do you even know? What would you have an idea what sort of windows Mr. and Mrs. Garrett's house is furnished with? Well, so that, that's very simple. You see, I helped with an investigation yesterday. Oh. Yes? Excuse me. Do you have something Again, to say? They are so cute until he puts his finger on the trigger. Really, though? Do you have something to add, Mrs. Beat? Mm hmm. Sorry. No swooning in court. You look, well, delighted. Is there some particular reason for that? Oh, I was just remembering. That's all. We really were so lucky. Lucky how? What do you mean? Well, of course, I feel terrible for the poor woman who was attacked. Don't misunderstand me, please. But we were just so lucky it didn't happen on rolling speed. It was so close, you see. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, it didn't happen on his speed. So... Yeah. Oh, I hadn't realized. So on whose speed was it? Oh, yes, that's the prior row. That's the boundary between rolling speed and then the next one. Is that right, my love? <laughs> Took the opportunity. He saw the opportunity and took it. Constable beat. Oh yes, that's right. Whatever she said. I think he broke his neck doing that. Time series and I sat down with the interview in the parking pass of the guy in the household yesterday. Right, but who's the other guy then who investigated? Who's beat it? Huh? Yeah, you need and how does this on my beat to see you stop? Okay, but so the crime scene's on the other beat, but whose beat is that then? Is it like hmm. a is this like a Simpsons like uh what's oh, the, the name of the state the killer? state border thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like shooting a gun in one state, the bullet traveling into another, hitting oh. Bart in another, and then Bart falling falling in the Or you're, you 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 commit a murder on like converging state uh, borderlines? <laughs> Uh, that was really... Oh, that really was ball, cutting close to <laughs> Constable, I wonder if you could clarify something. I have here my big book of everything. If the Garrett of Household is in your beat, does that mean that the pavement next to it is as well? Outside Mr. Garrett's house? Yes, man. The pavement on this side of the road is my beat. Okay, but whose beat does the crime Wait. scene belong to then? The... Didn't they say that they were in the same side of the road as the lady? I think so. Yeah, it was the, that was the whole thing of the Jojo meme. Yeah, exactly. They True. Yeah, 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 yeah. They saw, so, yeah, they saw the, yeah. So they were outside of his Yeah, exactly, beat exactly. For That's, some reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was not his beat. Yeah. I see. I was unaware of that. Just think, if the woman had been attacked just on the other side of Briar Road, we would never have been able to, to go for that meal to celebrate a wedding anniversary. But that's the life of a Bobby, after all. But who, right who, was who was investigate? Who was investigate? But who was cop? Who was Early cop? Working for the benefits of all of us. Don't tell me it was that Muppet dude with the chin. <laughs> Do you know what I think? I think it was the good lord's way of rewarding my Rolly for all his hard work. Don't you think so, my darling? Oh. 
you, Farmer. Nice to meet you. Very stoic of you. I think perhaps we should make sure we have that information officially on record. Yeah, so I can object to it. Leave it to me, Mr. Hargo. I'll take care of it immediately. So Sato has added stuff to the court record. Oh, thank you for writing that down. The case files information has been updated in the court record. The pavement where the victim was found lies out just outside of Constable Beat's Beat. Can we have the, the line of the beats in the map as well? That'd be nice. Now it's my turn, I think. Obviously, if anything had been thrown out of the window, we would have seen it. Seen it. The movie quiz. Okay. Uh. According to my notes here, the sun had gone down already. It was dark and foggy. Oh, but Raleigh and I were strolling along, gazing at the night sky and looking for a lucky star. In the fog. In the fog. Sorry. The star that would guide us to eternal happiness. Kong? It guides you to answer the question. If a flaming book had cut across the sky in front of us, you would have been looked like a shooting star. Oh, did you see your star coincidentally? And if I'd seen a shooting star, I would have made a wish upon it. If that really be an inspector, I would have said three times at least. Of course, we, we, we the want to smog and everything. We couldn't actually see any stars. No. Um. In short, are you trying to say that neither a book nor a knife crossed the sky before you? <laughs> yes, sir. That is correct, sir. As a lot of shimmers, the night sky and laundry startlers, sir. <laughs> hmm. It certainly seems like it seems like they're telling the truth. And then we saw the poor woman fall to the ground. So we ran straight over to help her. Right. I did leave the scene to go fetch and help, but my trust really was there to make sure nothing was disturbed. So do we present the thing here, right? Where it says uh, it's not his beat, so... Let's just press all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I was going to press everything anyway, but I'm just yeah. trying to collect some thoughts. Yes, you said that you went to a nearby police box to fetch another officer. Is that right? Who? Yeah, who was caught? That's right, yes. If it had been a rolly's beat... Ah, uh, I would have known exactly where I was going, of course. Don't feel bad, my love. You can be as parents as you know the location of a very police box on every beat. So Rowley told me to wait. Only I sort of got a little lost on the way. Oh? Patricia, my, Patricia, my darling. <laughs> that is why I love you. Your terrible sense of direction is bewitching to me. That is why <laughs> he's voice now every time he does that. That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that. That's that's way better now. Oh, Pat. Oh, Rolly. Yeah, we got it right this time. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose I was gone for about 15 minutes. But like I said, my Rolly was at the scene the whole time, making sure nothing was disturbed. I was off since we had a time, of course. But the truth of Bobby is never really off to this, sir. Yeah. You said as much. In my book. Mm. Okay, yeah, tell, tell me about your eyes, please. Hold it. Nothing to report. <laughs> that sounds familiar. That's right, sir. I had my eyes wide open the entire time. Then I looked away for a second. No one else supposed to see, and nothing was for me. And no one. That is a very direct quote, like. And, and and no one got onto the ship, right? You sure are right. putting a lot of emphasis on like this. Nothing happened. Nobody came. Yeah, exactly. Trust <laughs> me. Guy who can barely keep his eyes open yeah. at, at this very moment. I can tell that's what the eyes on us, sir. Uh, hmm, really? That seems a little strange. Oh, your pardon, sir. Change, sir. Seems altogether regular to me. This burnt copy of the Lion Sprite was originally in the Garrett household. So the question remains: How did it find its way into the hand or into the hand of the victim? Can you shed any light on that scene as you were at the scene of the crime the entire time? 
Did you just see a book and I was like, oh, this is hers, and then just put placed it in the body's hand? Aha! Could it be a different copy, sir? What it just happens to the burns as well? Oh, wouldn't that be convenient? Even if that were possible, why would the victim have been gripping a book like that on her hand? As we can see from this photographic print, she had a bag over her shoulder. Why would she be holding anything if she has a bag of holding? So that book was in Arendt's hand from the moment we arrived on the scene. What? In that case, that's therefore a fucking vinyl. Is that so? There's something about this statement that's not sitting right with me. The two oh. mysteries of how that knife ended up in her back and how the book ended up in her hand. There must be some common thread between them. Um, can can I ask you something, please, Mr. Lawyer, sir? Uh, oh, um, yes, of course, what is it? Why are you so terrible? You're, you're doubting us, aren't you? I, I can tell. Is that deja vu again? What? I, I wasn't really, I mean, what's she doing? Please, just because I'm a woman, it, it doesn't make my testimony any any. I never said that. Uh, I take offense to that, ma'am. I'm not. You, you might just see yeah. me as the wife of a policeman, but I'm a woman of my word. I am. I really did, don't. Are you gonna change your own testimony again? <laughs> yeah, is she gonna? Is she gonna wait? Is, is she? Is she gonna show it to me again? And then reveal a glaring contradiction. No excuses. I don't want to hear it. My voice will be heard. My will you let me speak, won't you? Yes, yeah, stop killing your husband. <laughs> yes, Miss B, I will allow you to supplement your testimony if you so desire. Sometimes the path of least resistance is the sage one. <laughs> that was a very loud mutter. <laughs> oh. I heard no, that! That's the least resistance. <laughs> that Japanese man thinks a police woman with the policeman's wife's word counts for nothing, does he? Well, watch out, sir. I might let you get away with something like that, but my really won't. Duly noted, Mrs. Beat. Please, I humbly ask you to continue. What could she possibly be about to say, I wonder? I wonder, too. I know when I saw my eyes, never let me down. My sense of direction is a little off sometimes, though. Uh, tell okay. me about your sense of direction, then. Mrs. Beat, nobody's questioning what you've told us. I saw it. I did that evening. I saw it clearly. That little Eastern man with the whiskers and the funny curved bag slinking away from the scene. Uh, I don't know what I didn't see as well. Oh, a uh, knife and a book. I didn't see any flaming books or any flying through the sky. All very clear. I'm like a bird. You. You also mentioned something about having a poor sense of direction. Oh, yes, well, uh, that's a little embarrassing, really. I'm always ending up at the wrong place when I've made arrangements to meet Rolly. He, he gets ever so cross. Oh, oh. fucking bro. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bro, the fuck you're on about? Constable Beat, is there a problem? Do you have a problem with your wife? <laughs> no, no, sir. No problem, sir. Did you after okay. just now bring something to mind, perhaps? Oh, um, well, in a way, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I was just remembering that the same thing happened that evening as well. What same thing? You mean Mrs. Pete lost her way on the night of the incident? They said as much. Well, you see, I sent her off to find a police box in the next beat over from my. Right. Wait, the because her sense of oh, she just what was up. But she was gone fairly longer than I was expecting. Well, so so thing so you you say they had she has it wrong where they were when it happened. Oh. It, it's just that maybe because she was counting the story, she said like, 
We saw the lady coming at us from the street, that she was, but if they were on his beat, which was on the other side of the road, does that mean that the whole crime happened on the left side and the body was dragged into the yeah. right side? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. That was, that was what I was thinking too, it's like, if she has the bad sense of direction, is, did she just get the, real, the location wrong, the general location where it happened? I think this is what we're getting at now, huh? I saw you back inside 10 minutes for my darling. was gone. A good 15. God damn it. Oh, Roly, I'm so wet. <laughs> but the reason I was so... I was... I was so long because of the, the bouquet, silly. The bouquet? Uh, sorry, what bouquet are you talking about? Oh, it was a present for a wedding anniversary. Roly, really so romantic. He saved up for it with farthings and halfpennies, and he finally, he finally got it while doing his rounds. So now we use payment. <laughs> yes, how oh, romantic. I'd forgotten all about it until just now. Had, had, had you, my darling? Uh, you, uh, oh, oh, yes. But uh, it was just between us. Um... What's up, guy? So anyone else that um, yeah, she's <laughs> Really? Yeah, oh, what was that all about? Constable Beat looked very obviously troubled during that exchange. I'm afraid I can't offer any useful insight, Mister Naruto. But I'm quite sure of one thing: we have to ask Mrs. Speed about the bouquet. Yeah, definitely. Did I ever check how old these were? Like the the two the the. Beats. I think. Did I have a check? 23 and 21? Wow. Huh. Okay. Now, Mr. Speed, that, that bouquet you just mentioned. Now, I'd like you to add details about it to your testimony, please. Oh, really? Yes, I'd love to. My fucking god. Now we're talking about flowers, really. What happened was I dropped my bouquet and ended up losing me away for a while. Hold it! Okay. If you need me, I'll be <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you don't want to drop your bouquet, hold it! You mean you dropped the bouquet at the scene of the crime? Yes, that's right. Oh, I was so upset. What, well, um, why aren't there any flowers there then? When we ran over and saw it was a woman with a knife in her back. I was so shocked I dropped the bouquet Roly gave me. It was in dark spot where so the streetlights were. Does that mean that Roly so technically tampered with evidence because he took the bouquet technically, from the scene of the crime? Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. And then they were to witnesses, the... so technically the whatever they dropped are well, he pertinent did... to the case. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it if it is a crime scene, then yeah, and a policeman should know better. And he did help with the investigation, so he would have had the opportunity. Uh, and then you went to the police box to report it to the policeman whose beat it was on. Yes, and I came back to the scene together with the other constable. You see, that's when I spotted my bouquet again. But the funny thing was, when I went to pick it up. It was no way near the victim's body at all. Oh. In the case you need reminding Mrs. B, the victim is not deceased. I, I was all flustered for a moment before I heard a voice calling me from the other side of the road. Your husband, presumably? That's right. Silly me, I'd gone over to the wrong side of the street. Are you sure? Maybe uh... your sense of direction isn't that bad after all. I really need... Can you draw on the map yours? <laughs> so... So they dragged... It happened here. So that would have actually been his beat. Yeah. And she said that the bouquet was not close to is the it, is it maybe, body as well. Is it maybe like that the, he didn't want to... He didn't want the trouble? And just drag. Oh, drag, he pushed drag. the body to the other side of the So the other the guy other had to deal with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. 
God damn it, Rolly. Although I'm going to blame the bouquet this time. I can't think how it got there. I really can't. So the bouquet someone moved from one side of our road to the opposite. It wasn't See, the bouquet that moved. See, that's where you're wrong. I don't think it was the bouquet that moved exactly. It uh, was a rotund woman. <laughs> hmm. Curious in indeed. Uh-huh. Isn't it? But the worst of it is I forgot to pick the bouquet up where we left the seat. Huh. So the it was technically uh, evidence. A, a, a one rose? One rose. One rose. One. It could be a nice rose. That's not a bouquet, though. That beautiful rose roll you bought me with that change from the gutter Wait. you spent so long collecting. How many flowers constitute a bouquet? It can be a single flat flower, bridal bouquet, or a mixed flower one. A mixed bouquet is one that has one or more times. Wait, what? Say it again? Uh, it can be a single type flower, bridal bouquet, or a mixed flower one. A mixed bouquet is one that has one or more types. Yes! Yes! A single type! But multiple of that single type. And this one has... I like that multiple. there is a question here. What does a bouquet contain a bunch of, and then you pick <laughs> flowers? Flowers? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. My bouquet. Oh, um, is, he gonna, is he gonna that. prove me right? Is he gonna prove me right? Yeah, oh, is he flower. gonna prove me right? You're so gay in that tonight if you're gonna prove me right here. Dude, that helps me. This sorry soy is having a rose. That's not a bouquet, that's just one rose. Oh! Ba -da 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 -ba 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 -ba. Yes, that's it! That, that, that's the bouquet Rolly bought for me for our anniversary with old bits of change he found the gutter! He could just call it a rose. Tell us, Lord Von Zeeks, why the fuck do you have the rose with you? <laughs> it was stuck to my boot. Uh, according to the requirement, the police officer in charge of the crime scene investigation. Who? Oh! CSI. He was found on the edge of the pavement in front of the Gary Depp household. Aha! All right, the thick so plot. Everything but the body was was on the other side of the road. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. <laughs> Conveniently on the other. In front of the Gary Depp house. See, okay, so that makes sense. How she got the book then? It was flung out of the window, and she did pick it up. I thought it was noticed until the morning. Oh. As a lay where the street lamps cast no light. And what do you do when you pick things up? You bend over. Yeah. So yeah. she saw the book on the floor, bent over, yeah. the knife fell on her. Yeah, exactly. And Roly just decided to roll her. Is that why his name is Roly? Not just because of Patrol, but because he <laughs> rolled the body. Oh, poor Olive Green. It was believed to be of no relevance to the case since it was found on the opposite side of the thoroughfare. Okay, that, that is fair to assume, but... Well, at least you did pick it up. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Could I have it back now, please? It's evidence. I'm sorry. Mm. Fuck no. I think a good measure of this road should be added to the court record as evidence. Oh. The anniversary bouquet has been entered into the court record. Where she stood. A present for Patricia Beat from her husband, Roly. The shock of seeing the stabbed victim caused Mrs. Beat to drop the rose where she stood. Where she, where stood, she stood, stood is the important part of that. Yes. But it's a symbol of our love. Your It'll love, your afterwards. love does need symbols. It's real anyway. Hello? It, it's still, it's, it held up well, considering. Interesting that we can roll rotate it. What did they have to say about it? Maybe the cut. It's very stylish paper. The the paper really? It's very stylish paper the flowers wrapped in, isn't it? It's newspaper. It's, it's just an old newspaper, Mr. Naruto. Oh, I suppose it's because I'm not used to seeing English print. It looks so exotic to me. I see. Is something wrong? Oh no no. I was just thinking that if you wrapped a stone baked sweet potato in an English newspaper, it might look like some sort of fancy cake. Ah, Susato san, you do love your cakes. <laughs> okay. So, so let's talk about, about the rose. The rose itself. An English rose. Such a beautiful flower. 
Ah, oh, this is a rose, is it? I've never seen one before. Careful roses, of his thorns. Roses, 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 roses. He's gonna prick himself. Watch. Did you not take an interest in flowers, Mr. Naruto? I wouldn't say that exactly, but I do know three taps at least. Oh, oh, okay. Phoenix right moment here. Gosh, three? Yes. Plum blossom, peach blossom, and cherry blossom. Wow. Okay. Perhaps you should consider branching out. Learning some that aren't fruit tree based, for example. Oh, I love that reference. Ah, oh, that's great. So the the paper that is oh is not a thing. Well, it's just this paper. I, uh, okay. yeah, oh, it's, let's, let's just have a look. The the part where it's the hand folded part. Yeah, I don't know if that's any different. Nope, it's a paper First again. Time. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, she do like her cake. Okay. Okay. I went back after the trial, do you hear me? I went back! Put it in water. Good grief. Stop killing your husband. <laughs> rest, re rest assured that I shall do my very best to not forget, Miss B. Okay. Alright, where were we? Right. You didn't take your eye off the crime scene. Uh, the, cr the crime scene. Hold it. Nothing to report. Oh, wait. We had that. Um, why did I press on that? We did that before. That okay, was not. So, that was not a new statement. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we. Do we give the bouquet to explain why the bouquet was so far away from the body? Um. Because it, it said that she dropped where she stood. Yeah. Exactly. If she stood by the body, why wasn't by the body? Yeah. Exactly. I think that's. The whole idea of an invisible attack has been, trou has been troubling me all along. But I'm starting to get the picture of what really happened here now. Yeah, same. Oh, 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 oh. The fourth book that had no business being at the scene of the crime made me, sh uh, made me sure that Mrs. Garrett was hiding something from us. But it's becoming increasingly clear that someone else has been hiding something from us as well. Yeah, Rolly. I think I'm already beyond with everything I need to strike, strike a decisive blow here. This time, it's going to expose the whole truth about this mysterious affair. Okay, let's pick the statement here. Uh, okay. Well, it's the sixth one, and then we present the rows. Uh, it also makes sense, because it was the one where it was like, he was very adamant on his... I didn't take uh, nothing strange report on that front, side. So you didn't even nothing notice. Strange, you didn't even happened, notice. Nobody came. You didn't even notice the bouquet that you bought your wife with the gutter money you collected. Is that correct? Objection. Objection. <laughs> so pathetic. Uh, let me get prepared here. You clean <laughs> <laughs> No, stop it. <clears throat> We're getting the flow here. <clears throat> you claim console beat. There was nothing to report in the 15 or so minutes you were guarding the scene. But that cannot be. I'm talking to you. What? What do you mean to say? In your testimony just now, Mrs. Speed, you explained to the court that when you arrived back at the scene of the crime with the policeman assigned to that beat, the bouquet you had dropped at the victim's side was no longer anywhere nearby. Objection! Yes, on the opposite side of Briar Road to where the victim was attacked. But considering the size of the meager bouquet, if a single sorry bloom can be so described, no doubt was blown in the wind across the street, back into the gutter where it belongs. That's Jeez, rude. Christ. That is rude. Meager. Objection. Is it? <laughs> but if that were the case, why did Constable Beat not testify to the fact? I got you now. I'm, I'm startled. <laughs> no, my book of everything. No one else approached the scene and nothing was removed from it. Constable Beat swore to that on Scotland Yard's honor. But, but the bouquet belonged to me. It has nothing to do with the case. That's that's why I really didn't mention that. I'm sure. Nuh-uh. 
No, because sadly, it's not only your bouquet we're talking about here. More than one thing in this case is mysteriously the wrong way around. What are you talking about, you bastard? Think about it. Besides Mrs. Beat bouquet, Mrs. Beat's bouquet, there's Mr. Garadib's book. Mr. Garadib's copy of the Lion's Pride, which was thrown out of the window by his wife, would have struck the pane of the casement window and landed here on the west side of the street. And yet, it was actually found here on the opposite side of the road in the victim's hand. Meanwhile, according to the testimony we've heard, Mrs. Beat's bouquet should have been dropped here at the scene of the crime on the east side of the street. But in fact, it was actually found here on the opposite side of the road in front of Mr. and, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Garadab's house. Can you move ink in a paper like that? <laughs> There's no logical explanation for those things. <laughs> yes. Unless somebody deliberately moved them. Almost. Almost. Not those things. What are you trying to say? The way you're talking sounds like you think my Rolly's done something wrong. Don't you listen to a word that scrawny lawyer says. Wittering on about books and bouquets. Why should we care? It's nitpicking. Cause that's what it is. Oh, good. Mrs. Garadab's come around. You might call it nitpicking, Mrs. Garadab. But deliberately meddling with the scene of a crime is a criminal offense. It's called, um... Uh... Tampering, Mr. Naruto. Oh. I'm here. But the person responsible for this tampering cannot admit to it. For very subtle but compelling reasons. Objection. He's a policeman! You barely heard the term before. I know what it is, though. Tell us, my learned friend, who would possibly have cause to, to carry out such an elaborate deception? The only guy who was alone there for 15 minutes? Yes, there is someone who tampered with the scene of the crime that evening. All the evidence and all the testimony points to that one particular person. Roly Poly. <laughs> Roly Poly. I must demand that you substantiate this conjecture. Who are you saying is responsible for tampering with the scene of the crime? It was Iris! She was there. Unbeknownst to everyone. Sherlock Holmes. It was the victim. She just got out of the road. <laughs> she tumbleweeded across the street. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it was the only guy who was there alone for and a to, substantial and he amount of time. had a reason to do it, so he wouldn't miss his dinner with the missus. Yeah, exactly. He just he wanted to have a nice night with the missus. And so, and so he ignored the, the murder attempt. Yeah. Happens to everybody. Exactly. Obviously, there's only one person it could have been. Constable Rollybeat, it was you! What? A policeman? A member of Scotland Yard? What nonsense! Why would my Rolly do something like that? There's no one straight than my husband! No Bobby works more tirelessly for the people of London! Guys, I have something that I need to tell. <laughs> Mrs. Pete, you said in your testimony that your husband asked you to go to a nearby police box to fetch the officer on duty. The 15 minutes that you were absent from the scene is the only opportunity anyone had to tamper with it. You're making it up. It's all lies and it's all lies. What about that Japanese man with the whiskers? I bet it was him. He did it. Objection. Where is he? If that was true, Constable Pete would have seen him do it. Oh. And forgive me for pointing it out, but when you dropped your bouquet, Mrs. Beat, it was after the defendant had fled the scene. Ah, well, well. What do you want? You're still making accusations about the landlord and his wife, and now you incriminate a policeman as well. And his wife. But your accusations like one very important thing. Is it the E word? You claim the crime scene was tampered with. Show me proof. There's only one reason anyone would commit such a reckless crime. To hide something. Not really? Not necessarily. Yeah. That's right. He's right. But my husband and I just happened to be there. That's all. 
So why wouldn't we have anything to hide? It, it doesn't make sense. You have no mm. motive for these alleged scatterings. So it's the M word. I got it. But I tell you to. Your accusations are nothing but empty threats. No, don't worry. I got this. Constable Pete had a very good reason, a very, a very good reason for wanting to tamper with the scene of the crime. The scene of well, the crime. Oh, had a reason. That's the key to this entire affair. Had a cute reason, but not a good reason. Yeah. Mr. Naruto, have you, have you managed to solve this mystery? I think so. Consul, you have made a very serious accusation against a lone police officer. Don't worry, I got this. If you were mistaken, I'm sure I need to point out that I need not point out that your reputation as a lawyer will be irrevocably damaged. That's fine, I can still go home and be a lawyer there. <laughs> With that stock warning in mind, you will now explain to the court the motive for this alleged tampering. Yes, my lord. Okay. <sighs> Constable Beat's motive for tampering with the crime scene was to hide... Where the victim fell. Where the victim fell, yeah. Where the victim fell to the ground. That is what this Bobby had to cover up at all costs. What? He didn't want the extra work. Where the victim fell? You mean where she was attacked? No, she wasn't attacked per se. What are you talking about? We told you at the very start, didn't we? On the pavement of Briar Road, we saw it happen. Remember, yep, at the other side. It was right here, as if anyone didn't already know. That's certainly what everybody has been led to believe. But in fact, that isn't where the victim was stabbed at all. Wh what? What? I'm beginning to wonder where this tumultuous trial would end, Council. <laughs> if that's your assertion, then the court is dying to know, my Nepalese friend. Where are you proposing that the crime actually took place that evening? On the left side of the road. Let, let me let me let me just let me just shimmy on over here. Oh, wow, there's a very significant dead zone to this to this stick I just noticed. Um. <laughs> but that's on the opposite side of the road. I I don't understand. On the evening in question, Mr. Garadab's book fell directly down from the open window above. And your bouquet, Mrs. Beat, never moved at all. What did move was the scene of the crime itself. Good gracious! Objection! Perhaps you haven't been listening to the ample testimony of the court I was heard. These witnesses both saw the moment the attack took place. That's that's right. I saw it with my own eyes. It was five o'clock in the evening and already dark. There uh, was the typical London fog on the ground. When you saw the incident unfold and ran, a, ran to the victim's aid, that was actually on the west side of Briar Road. No, that's not true. It, it can't have been... Constable Beat then arranged for you to be absent for a while by sending you for help. And during the 15 minutes you were away, he transplanted the crime scene. He moved all the things shown in this print. The victim herself, the four books. He moved everything, in fact, to the pavement on the east side of Prior Road. I think we have no... no dragon marks. Uh, extraordinary. He lifted... he probably lifted her. What a feat. Just... <laughs> But the constable overlooked one thing. He just bowled her into the other side. <laughs> what? What did he overlook? The bouquet, I presume. Exactly. The prosecution told the court just a few minutes ago about the discovery of the rose bouquet. Lord Van Zeek said, It wasn't noticed until the morning, as it lay where the street lamps cast no light. That's a very good... <laughs> Yes, it couldn't be seen in the dark, obviously. Which is why it was only the bouquet. 
that was found in its original position on the pavement on the west side of Briar Road. <laughs> and that is the defense's theory about what really happened that evening. How do you respond? Constable Rolly Beat? We have danced this charade long enough. Um, well, I, I'm very sorry. I think the mates are not off again, but I haven't slept properly in a month. Did I miss anything important? No, Rolly. It isn't true, is it? What the lawyer said is all lies, isn't it? I know it is because you're the most upstanding righteous man I know. I don't want to hear about him being upstanding. A terrible dream. Don't tell me he was sleepwalking that. All the things to right. I see that night. Everything come out. Everything is supposed. Only it seems it wasn't a dream at all. Good golly! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> My lord, language! Order! 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 What on earth is the meaning of all this? Oh, Rolly, why? Why would you do something like this? Moving a corpse is, is a criminal offense, isn't it? She wasn't dead. She still isn't. I asked her, I asked her nicely to move to the other side. <laughs> Wishing the victim dead should be one too. <laughs> Possible? Explain yourself. Why would you do this? Why forth? As a respected member of Scotland Yard, your duty is to protect the good people of London Town. Yeah, I can show you. You gave me a warrant card, remember? Hi. I can't say, sir. It's too embarrassing, sir. What? I really am never so sorry about all this. For damaging the yard's reputation. For, for, for everything. But you did it for your wife, and that's what counts. I need I wanted to get my dick wet. <laughs> right? Upstanding citizen and all that. I have a possible explanation. Or upstanding member, I should say. For why on that particular evening, Constable Beat felt, felt compelled to move the scene of the crime? I can think of one reason. Show evidence, it's the wife. Well, how could you possibly know? You, a foreigner, presume to understand the mind of a Scotland Yard policeman. I can understand the mind of a man in love, okay? been there before. And yet, Lord Van Zeeks, it is this foreigner who has uncovered the solemn truth of this matter thus far. <laughs> I believe it would be beneficial to the court to hear this extraordinary young lawyer's theory. All right, thank you. Counsel for the defense, if you please. Oh, I will please all of you. Yes, 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 my lord. Now then, I think you'd better show us some evidence. Do we have evidence? That one's my lord. I don't know if I can show a profile. England, Japan, it makes no difference where you come from. Human emotions are the same. And I think I have a fairly good idea of the feelings behind this man's actions. Uh, oh no, I can't. We well, show, we show the, I guess the book Rose, that then. says if, if a crime ha No, the book where it says if a crime happens on the beast, then the, the guy is forced to be there to help hold on what gives away the motive for constable no i don't think so i think it's the rose that was because of what 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 uh, dionuska said right human emotions are all the same he yeah, collected he like collected if, money if we from, are to he collected money from like, the gutter to buy this rose for her but but again like we if we show the book then it's they have written that 
he would he would be forced to be there with the wife. We would be forced to be there when a crime is discovered on this beat. A policeman must assist. Yeah, okay, I, I, like I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. But like, you get you get the reason, right? You get you get yeah. my you get my line of thought. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, I'll yeah. I'll try the, I'll try the card. Take that. I guess that works too. Yeah. <laughs> I realize that I'm a foreigner in this land, and I've only just arrived from the Japan, but which is why all this information about London's so-called bobbies is completely new to me. I've learned that through. But honorable... I know how much wanting to get blamed would make somebody <laughs> could disturb a crime scene. I've learned that through honorable patrolling, the beat is the most demanding work in the world, for example. Keeping the peace, looking after the citizens of this beat in all kinds of ways. There's no doubt that the young Bobby is charged with a great deal to each day, certainly. But for Constable Beat, the day in question was special. Special? Ow. Yeah, see, there's the rose now. <laughs> On account of this so bouquet, my lord. both of the yeah, it's, evidence. Exactly. That's it's one of those cases, again, where you can show two things. Yeah. Oh, yes. It was our very first wedding. Wait, 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 wait. It was our very yes, first wedding. Yes, it was your wedding. Wait, wait, wait. You mean right? to say it was her wedding? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yes. Constable Beat had worked so hard to be able to afford the simple gift for his wife. And was so looking forward to taking her out for a celebratory meal. Oh! Oh, yes, that kind of meal. Uh, I get you now, I get Imagine. you. Okay. Duh. Bonk. Fine <laughs> bonk. Ah, uh, and was so looking forward to eating her out. <laughs> what? When he and Mrs. Beat stumbled upon the crown, I'm a very old. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh. When he uh, saw the ship. Wait, I think. That, I guess that's me then, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll narrate I mean, it. It makes sense that you are. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> when he saw the shadowy figure through the fog collapse on the pavement ahead of them, what must have gone through the man's. What must have gone through the man's mind? Oh, shit. Over time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One particular day, I was looking forward to celebrating my wedding anniversary. Mrs. B is blessed to have a lot being married to a Bobby like me. I wanted to show my dear wife how much I care. <laughs> this is the Warren card that Constable Beat offered to lend me to, lend to me earlier. Inside, among the rules for patrolling policemen, it says. When a crime is discovered on his beat, a policeman must assist with initial investigations to end help detectives. Oh. Which means overtime. Constable Beat. Is that or is that not the reason why you moved the whole scene of the crime that day? So is this case like not a murder at all? Well, no, this she's a series of unfortunate events. She's not dead. It wasn't yeah. a murder. It wasn't a murder to begin with, anyway. I was, I was just like wondering where Popeye and Lord Farquaad would enter in the. Probably in the next case, then. Probably in the next case, yeah. then. Yeah. Yes. As in Vader said, it's all right. So that's it. It was all to do with the boundary of your beat. Oh! Exactly. To summarize, the incident actually occurred on Constable Beat's beat. Good gracious! Constable, do you realize the gravity of what you have done? It was the first time since I became a couple that I've ever cursed God. Whoa, watch it there. Jesus. Stay close to me, Pat. The girl should still be looking somewhere. As we run over to the scene, I have every intention of doing my duty as a police officer. We got to report this to the station as quickly as possible. But then it dawned on me. I realized where we were, where the victim was lying, 
and what that meant for me. When a crime is discovered on this beat, the police man must assist with initial investigation and help detectives. Why here? Why does this have to happen here? And why tonight, of all nights? Why? It was a cop. It's a copper's yard to call the scene of the crime, so. I told Patchy I have to go to the nearest police box and fetch whoever was on my duty there. Whoever was on duty there. It was then when I opened my mouth to speak. It just came out. I couldn't believe the words that were coming out of my own mouth. This is the last speech of mine, Pat. So you have to get to the police officer the police box that covers it. So I'm right on all mission street and then So you lied to your wife? Oh boy. Oh no, look who's oh. stirred. So moving. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking these pictures? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, constable. I, I just wanted. It's just that one night. To take my Patricia out for dinner. Oh, Rolly? This is the one night. You know that if the incident was on your beat, your evening of celebration would be ruined. And so you decided to move the entire crime scene outside of your jurisdiction. Just across the street, to the east pavement of Dry Road, which falls under the neighboring beat scare. You see, I... I thought... Well, I was sure the victim was, was dead, you see. I beg your pardon? Oh, of course he did. Otherwise my Rolly would... Would never have left to put one on the freezing cold pavement. Oh. Oh. I see your meaning now. But God got me back for my sins, didn't he? Uh, that's why. That's why I missed the rose I bought for Pat. Oh no, Rolly. Th that was all my fault. I should never have dropped it in such a dark place. I'm so sorry, Rolly. That is very sad. I really like those two. Yeah. As long as it keeps his uh, hand away from a firearm. <laughs> and can you tell us, Constable, how many books did you move from the one side of the road to the other in total? Hmm? Oh, um, four it was. Yes, sir. Uh, definitely four. Three of them dropped by Mr. Nutsman, the fourth being the one that fell from the window upstairs in the gated household, of course. But what made you place that book in the victim's hand? And all the others were scattered haphazardly around, I mean. Oh, well, so that's because that's how I found it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she yep. picked it up and yep. then stabbed. Yep. How you found it? What do you mean? When I first went over to the scene, the victim was already holding the book. So, when I moved everything, I made sure it was still in her hand. You sure it was this book, Lion's Pride, that the victim was holding? Oh yes, sir. No doubt about it, sir. Hmm, interesting. Really? Okay. So, yeah, the book fell first. He bent down to grab it. The knife fell second. Right. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm just confused that 
you know, all this conclusory stuff was happening and then evidence gets updated. <laughs> I thought it was an open and shut case at the time, you see. There were only the two people at the scene and Pat and me both saw it happen. However, which way you looked at it, it had to be the fellow who ran off who done it, I thought. I couldn't see the harm really. I didn't think moving it all over the road would make a jot of difference. I... I suppose this is it for me now. I've had... Objection. Oh? My lord. Yes, Lord Van Zix. Fire this individual. <laughs> I believe that concludes the cross-examination of the witness. Yes. Constable, you may withdraw. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Prosecutor, sir. Can I have my rolls back? What will become of my rollie? What will happen to him? For now, you are free to go home. The police will contact you in due course. Please, don't punish my husband. This, this was all my fault. It's because I'm always mourning at him for coming home late. Leave it now, Pat. Let's go home. I'm tired. Alright then, my love. One last thing, Constable. Sir? Let this be a lesson to you. In a criminal investigation, every detail matters, however insignif insignificant it may seem to you. Yes, sir. Carve that lesson in your life. never again make the mistake of tempering with the scene of crime. Ah, never again, sir? You, you don't mean to say? Oh, is he being nice? Please. Leave now. This trial is not yet over. Is he holding it's not back, like is I he like you both or anything, now? Baka. Is he, <laughs> is he actually holding back tears? Ah. Uh -huh. Um, stop! 